got insomnia? This scary video won't help. Published by Little Genius in February of 2022, the following footage was captured while this poor soul was sleeping, or trying to. Slowly, the blankets are pulled down from the man's shoulders. He pulls them back up, but it happens again, and then a third time. But this doesn't seem to get the sleeping man's attention. A water bottle balanced on his headboard falls onto the bed. He replaces it and continues to sleep, but the bottle soon wobbles to the side and falls again. Next, a chair with a teddy bear slides forward on its own. Moments later, it scoots forward even more. It then tips backward, falling onto the floor and finally waking the man up. What entity is interfering with this guy's sleep? Whoever it is, it succeeded. This man will never sleep again. A YouTuber named Ariat Jane is live streaming a road trip when suddenly an unidentified creature bursts through the traffic, nearly causing a wreck. Here we are. There San Diego is, Freeway Diego. coming up. Boom. We are there. Awesome. Whoa. Whoa. Dude. What was that? It wasn't he wasn't on a motorcycle. The speeding object leaves a short trail of fire behind, almost like it has a turbocharger of some sort, yet it's going way too fast to be an ordinary vehicle. My guess is this is computer generated special effects, but if that is the case, then I don't know how he got the cars to slow down all at once to make this shot look so realistic. Maybe there was traffic ahead or something and he edited this creature in later. Either way, Ariane Jane swears that this video is 100% real, and I'd like to know if you agree with him or not. This incident shows that even streamers' homes can be haunted. Twitch streamer Justa Minx is chatting with her fellow influencers, Aviva Sophia and Nico Lull, when in the midst of discussion, the wheelchair in the corner behind her moves unexpectedly. Nico Lull is the first to notice, while Aviva Sophia confirms that she saw it move too. Justin Minx denies that it moved, but it was behind her, so she couldn't have seen it. A second clip reveals further proof that Justin Minx's home is haunted. As she's talking about TikTok with her followers, a distinct silhouette flashes into view on the right. This time, she sees it out of the corner of her eye. She asks her viewers if they saw it too. Many in the comments think it's a black cat, but can a cat move a wheelchair? One strange happening is enough, two is too much to explain away. A TikToker named Gallagher is from Jersey checks up on his child when he notices a second small head facing the opposite way and looking up. Its feature is vacant and half deformed. He rushes into the room and in his rage says he'll put an end to the spirit and calls it a name. I'll you son of a bitch. Which I'm not sure was the best approach to take considering it had such easy access to his child. Look at this alleged ghost sighting again up close. It doesn't really look like a blanket or a toy to me, but I could be wrong. He never does show us the crib, but I guess he never figured out what it was since he went ahead and uploaded this strange video for us to analyze. A truck driver checks his mirror just in time to see a dusty road hazard swirling his way. Try and translate this part because I would love to hear his initial reaction word for word. <laughs> The mini tornado dances all around and blocks the only exit. Getting out and running is probably not a good option because it could randomly change direction and come barreling his way. Now all he can do is stay inside and hope it doesn't move forward another 10 feet and rip off his door, which it looks strong enough to do. If you doubt its power, this bent street light says otherwise. After less than a minute, the tornado of dust dissipates moments before, raging through somebody's front door. 
We like to think that we'd somehow remain in control of any emergency, but all of this was random. His survival was based far more on chances than choices. A YouTuber named Ruin Road wants to explore the old remains of the Hutchins Intermediate School in Detroit, Michigan. So he climbs through one of the blown out windows and rummages all around. He is getting some artistic shots of various angles and landscapes when he notices somebody is posted by a fence a few hundred feet away. Something feels off about the man, but he ignores it and keeps exploring. Some more time passes and Ruin Road eventually forgets all about the strange man, but then a noise in the next room swings him around. Ruin Road senses someone is coming for him and quickly gets out of the building fast. He later concludes that the person outside was serving as a lookout and that other people were coming into the building to jump him. I think there is a good possibility that this is true, but then again maybe they were just some fellow urban explorers or maybe he was being paranoid and there was no one around at all. With that said, I have in good fact heard about people getting robbed in abandoned buildings around Detroit, so I think it's good that he didn't stick around to find out. Arachnophobes beware. This video is straight out of Ron Weasley's Nightmares, published by Exotic Slayer in October of 2018. Footage of this spider will remind you why so many people fear them. The Goliath Bird Eater is the world's largest spider by mass and size. Goliath calls South America home, and its leg span is second only to the giant huntsman spider. Goliath is called a bird eater for a reason. A copper engraving, made by Maria Sibylla Marion, in the 18th century depicts the giant spider chowing down on a hummingbird. But don't worry, birds aren't often the spider's prey. Rather, he prefers worms, amphibians, insects, and other arachnopods. Although Goliath has been known to eat things as large as rodents, lizards, and snakes. Imagine running into this spider in your jungle lair. It's what nightmares are made of. A husband and wife are sitting in the living room when one of them notices that the cat toy is moving all by itself. When it happens a second time a short while later, they rush to get the phone and start recording what could be an animal spirit in action. Oh my goodness. I spent a long time looking up remote controlled cat toys and none of them looked anything like this one. This toy is obviously small and soft, while remote controlled pet toys are much larger and are also made of plastic to protect the receiver. Considering the married couple claims to have had a cat pass away years ago, I have little doubt that it's now returning to its favorite toy and to its favorite owners. A group of friends are enjoying their time in an outdoor pool when an uninvited guest watches from afar. Posted to TikTok by Paranormal Itty, this scary video captures a lurker doing what they do best, lurking just out of sight. The shadow figure stands a couple of dozen feet away from the group. It watches them in silence until one of the party notices the mysterious figure and points it out to the rest of the group. The figure then turns quickly around and races off. You think that's the end of it, but when the group returns to playing around, you can see the figure lurking back into view on the right. The figure runs back around to the left before being spotted again by a member of the group. Once sighted, it runs off out of sight yet again. Who is this figure, and why is she watching that? Tiffany of the YouTube channel called Beauty and the Beastins is making a home vlog when she turns the corner and passes something terrifying that she won't even notice until editing days later. And two, he was bringing in like all. Was bringing in like all. This all black outline looks to be about half her size and barely human. It's facing away, and its bald head is hunched over a wide cloak that extends to the floor. I was thinking this could be a hat rack or something, except it appears to be in the bathroom, and I can see one of its long, gnarled hands poking out of an oversized sleeve. Judging from this video, I think this is either something paranormal or else a home intruder unlike any I have ever seen before. 
If I saw movement of any kind, I would have no doubt that this was real. Since the figure seems to stand completely still though, I will admit that I have my doubts. But more importantly, what do you think this is? A small crowd gathers to watch a commercial airliner take off. But what should be a fun little diversion turns into a scary moment, and it's all caught on camera. A person is getting in some exercise when they become engulfed in a sudden sandstorm created by high-powered turbine engines. He's directly in the jetliner's path and there's nowhere for him to go but down a steep slope into the water and you can see others are also stuck in its path. This is probably exactly why there aren't more beaches this close to an airport. I know this is kind of humorous, but it stops being funny if you get a piece of sand embedded in your eye. Or worse, which thankfully did not happen here. A YouTuber named Outdoors Weekly is fishing with his little brother. When he gets a little too comfortable with his surroundings, it makes the mistake of letting his guard down. Oh! No! Oh my god! Oh, dude! Oh. He sees the snake at 2 minutes and 21 seconds, and hears his raised foot approximately 1 second later at 2 minutes and 22 seconds, ready to come down. He was about to step right on it, no doubt about that, but I want to know how bad the bite would have been. Take a look at this reptile. Is this one you can identify? Thanks for the answer, if so. A CCTV video captures an ill-mannered apparition as it ravages a store just 20 minutes shy of 3 a.m. It slinks across the far wall first, knocking two items off the opposite shelf as it moves down the aisle. To be honest though, the way this object on the top shelf gets caught at 13 seconds looks like it could be pulled by a string. Next, the shadow somehow passes across the aisle without appearing in the glass or the bright reflection on the floor. A minute later, the door to the cooler shakes hard enough to rattle the glass in its pain. Camera 7 shows the outside of the cooler, and camera 8 shows the inside. Nobody is anywhere nearby, or in the entire store for the matter, and yet the door shakes uncontrollably. I think this could be a real poltergeist, because of one simple fact. This door is airtight to keep the drinks cold, it has no knob to grab onto, and must be opened with a button on the wall. Therefore, I don't think somebody could have made it shake like this, even if they stood on the other side and tried. A research team known as Ghost in Mystery wants to reveal all of the paranormal activity happening in their home country of Bangladesh, of which there is plenty to be found. They go exploring a haunted place in the woods. Everything in the forest seems to wail at them not to go inside. <laughs> And someone tell me why they hear a child's voice while investigating this well. Okay. hallucination. Freaky, right? The same ghost child's voice returns once more after they find a way inside, perhaps to shout a warning. Look again. At 17 minutes 4 seconds, they briefly pause on a large figure next to a meat hook. That can't be good. One investigator feels overwhelmed by a paranormal feeling, a wave of negative energy if you will, and they need to rest. That's when they chance upon a makeshift stick hut in the woods behind the abandoned house. Wait, I see something really scary inside. <laughs> Their light crosses the glowing eyes of a large figure standing on two legs. It's there for but a moment, and then the unknown creature sighting is no longer caught on camera. They end the paranormal exploration shortly after. A YouTuber named Nathan Laird posted this video as a warning to others to stay away from a woman whose behavior really freaked him out. 
He's riding around his neighborhood in Vacaville, California. When he says a woman throws garbage on the ground, this bothers him so he picks up the trash and follows her to re-deliver it, along with a valuable message about littering. Excuse me? I think he dropped this. There's a fucking tree. I have a little too. Watch again and it appears that she tries to rip his camera off, and after that fails, she smacks at it out of anger. She's eating an orange and probably dropped part of the peel on the ground, which you could argue isn't as severe as littering other things. But still, this is just a little kid who is trying to do what he thought was right. So there's no reason to react like this. She could have apologized or politely told him it's biodegradable, but instead she physically touches him, which does not seem appropriate since she's supposed to be the adult here. Smoke wafted through the yellow line train on January 12, 2015. While it filled the train, commuters waited over 35 minutes for help to escape. The cause is believed to have been an electrical issue in the tunnel. When the issue occurred, it forced commuters on the platform to evacuate. That's when train 302 pulled towards the platform and took off again. But it was so thick the train operator was blinded. He pulled to a stop in the tunnel. The train's fans were pulling smoke inside, and firefighters were only dispatched when they received a 911 call about seven minutes later. Meanwhile, the passengers on the train could barely breathe and many got down on the floor. In the raw video of the train, you can see just how bad it is inside the wagon, and you can hear people cough, while most lie or squat on the floor. Over the intercom, they are told to remain calm and not to open the doors. Some called 911 to describe where the train was located so that rescuers could be sent down. Out of the 380 people who were evacuated from the train, 86 were treated, 9 were treated outside the station, and 1 passed away. There's a scary cemetery in this Egyptian neighborhood that is said to be haunted only on the quietest of nights. Mustafa Nabil goes exploring the haunted place at an early hour with his friends. In front of the cemetery gate stands a tall and silent figure guarding the outside. They immediately cut the paranormal exploration short and just want to go home, but the mysterious figure is not going to let them off that easily. It seems like they are blocked at every turn. Something looks at them from around the corner and sends them running down random streets to get away. They are out of breath and about to slow down to regroup when they see the spirit has somehow teleported ahead of them and brought back up. They have to keep moving and stay out of sight. There are many winding alleyways to go through, but they feel constantly watched and far from safe as they are relentlessly followed down every path. At 8 minutes and 24 seconds, they think they are safe and finally slow down. None of them see a supernatural figure watching them from the shadows. The video ends, but it seems their paranormal plight is far from over. A piece of the graveyard has committed itself to following them home. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Odd Entertainment 279 the Redditor titled this post, Croaky Ghost Sound, and they went on to include some more backstory in the comments, writing, I was at this weird abandoned BBC receiving station that closed in the 70s. Watch this back just now. This sound was in the video. Took this just two days ago. Well, let's have a listen. Did you hear it? If so, what do you think it is? More than one person in the comments thinks it's a frog, but I can't say I have enough frog knowledge to agree or disagree. Do you think this is the case? Or are you siding with the OP? Who thinks he's captured a ghost sound on camera outside this abandoned building? A ghost hunting YouTube channel called Spartan Hunters 2 explores the narrow stone corridors of the old Paulding County Jail in Ohio for any signs of the afterlife. As soon as they turn the corner, they hear something that sends shivers down my spine. 
Did you hear that? What was that? Wow. An anguished scream cries out from deep within the jail complex, which I'm sure most of you heard, but did you hear the creepy laughter that follows the scream? Listen really closely and you can make out the faint echoes of laughter bouncing off the walls. It happens right after he says, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Exploring abandoned houses for paranormal evidence is an activity that's as old as YouTube itself. As this early video taken in August of 2005 shows, the team of amateur ghost hunters are exploring an abandoned house from the street when activity within lets them know it's quite haunted. At two seconds, one of them points to an all-white apparition and they all take off. I don't think this is fake because video editing was not that common back in 05 and when you play it in slow motion you can actually see the mysterious figure go from right to left across the doorway. It's bizarre, sure, but was it a ghost? More proof that ignorance is bliss. If you knew what monsters lurked below, would you ever put your boat out? Simon Lawrence published this drone footage of a great white having a go at a 7 meter crab boat near Port Lincoln, South Australia in October of 2017. You can see the enormous shark drift carelessly beneath the boat. At first, the shark appears to have no interest in his two-legged friends or their curious contraption, but then the shark does a 180 and returns, appearing to nudge the rear of the boat. In the video description, Lawrence notes what happens. The shark surfaced after we pulled the pot off him. While he was swimming off with it, we didn't drag the shark nor did it drag us. It did, however, put its nose against the motor and started to push us around. It then put its mouth over the echo sounder transducer. You can see the shark surface a couple times, which is quite scary in and of itself. Just as the face above the water is a little too Jaws-esque for the faint of heart, you can also see the shark move against the motor, although it doesn't seem to have caused any damage. After a while, the shark bugs off and takes a rope with it. Another scary encounter with our big tooth friends from down under. When American Airlines Flight 280 took off from Seoul, South Korea, heading to Dallas, none of the 240 passengers aboard the flight knew they were about to take the scariest ride of their lives, but that's just what happened. <laughs> The plane encountered severe turbulence, which was caught on camera by passengers. The turbulence was so severe that the flight was diverted to Tokyo. After 15 people aboard the flight were injured, five of them being hospitalized, one passenger, Mark Stanley, an attorney in Dallas, told the morning news they were diverted after 45 plus minutes of insane turbulence. The remaining passengers were put up in Tokyo for the night, but not sure if I'd have the stomach to get back on a plane the next day. Lori Lee Craig and her husband have a bad feeling about a mysterious handprint on their wall that neither one of them can explain. Okay, because it's like you can't see it, and then suddenly it's there. And there's no way. As you can hear in the background, their child has been crying all day, but there's nothing normal about this behavior at all. Listen for yourself. Stairs, can you move up a little bit? So even if you stood on the stairs, because there's the handprint, you, you, you can't, you reach, can't it. reach it. The two worried parents walk around the house to see if they can find what's wrong. That's when they notice this strange handprint above their child in an impossible to reach corner of the stairway. This thing is six feet above the stairway. I wasn't sure what to make of this video until I kept hearing the shrieks of this poor little girl. No skeptic can explain these cries of pure terror. It sounds like the spirit is still in front of her doing who knows what. 
Did you know that man has explored more of Mars and the moon than we've explored the depths of our own oceans? Which leads us to some of the strangest oddities on Earth, including this one, the giant's pyrosome, looking like a large transparent tube slide. A giant's pyrosome is comprised of thousands of identical clones of zooids that form an up to 60 foot hollow cylinder that can be wide enough for a grown man to fit inside. The free floating tube appears like a ghostly discarded piece of see-through fabric known as sea pickles. Giant pyrosomes are bioluminescent, which means you can see them glowing blue-green in the sea at night, published to YouTube by Ross Overstreet in June of 2018, and supplemented by footage from Luis Bringas in December of 2014. This giant pyrosome off the southern coast of San Clemente Island will send you off the deep end. These videos show the creature in action or rather inaction as it floats unobtrusively near the seafloor. What would you do if you crossed paths with this oceanic nightmare? Would you be brave enough to swim through? And more importantly, would you make it to the other side? This father and son paranormal team is about to check into a haunted hotel, published by Paranormal Boys in December of 2021. When they first enter, they find everything in disarray. They sit down around the table, and it sounds like something has joined them. As they're using their paranormal devices, they hear a strange breathing sound, and then another unexplained noise. Oh, whoa, whoa. did you hear that? No? Has someone taken a room at this haunted hotel? If so, they may never leave. These ghost investigators have some paranormal evidence from a haunted house on video that I'm trying to decide is real or fake. They claim these lights are not coming from traffic, which I believe, but it looks awfully similar to the high-powered flashlights they were using earlier in the day. Does the beam look the same to you? Next, they claim to have picked up this sharp whisper, but I think it might be a camera strap sliding over the mic. Do you hear it? If so, what do you think? TikToker Smug Puppy has experienced paranormal activity in her home since 1997. The activity comes in waves, lying dormant for years before spiking. This is one of those spikes. At first, she and her dad are just enjoying their morning. You enjoying my dumb kiss, Dad? But then this happens a moment later. I can't believe I've just caught that on camera. The ghost confronts him, knocking the snack right out of his hand. Here it is again. This is the first time the ghost has ever done this to anybody. Some in the comments think the slap sounded off. Others think the ghost doesn't want people eating junk food. I think this looks legit, and if the ghost is starting to physically harm the home's residents, then this ghost needs to be removed from this home. YouTuber Riot was putting his dogs to bed when he noticed his truck's alarm lights were blinking. The dogs also seemed upset by something. That's when he checked his ring camera, only to find this. A strange blue object is floating across the yard. The YouTuber says he didn't see it with his own eyes. It then disappears behind a tree. Well, I wanted to dismiss this as a spider web at the beginning. It's harder to dismiss when it seems to move away and disappear like this. Oh, 
So what do you think? A spider web or something more cryptic? I think it's too close to call. Samuel Porter lives near an abandoned house that he wants to explore. So he and his friends take a short walk and soon find themselves standing outside of its gnarled wooden door. Someone has gone to great lengths to keep trespassers away. The door is locked and the window they get in through is covered in barbed wire. The inside of the old cottage is filthy and collapsing. Large sections of the floor have been eaten away, but they curiously press on. Samuel Porter pokes his head through a hole in the ceiling to see what's on the second floor, a decision he will remember forever. The first thing he notices are two sticks that have been formed into a hanging cross for some reason. <laughs> then to the left he sees the knotted rope. I did notice one thing about this creepy scenario. If this is an actual noose meant for hanging purposes, then it looks to be set the wrong height for someone to use on themselves. I'm curious to find out what you think happened in this room. To me, it unfortunately looks pretty obvious. A YouTuber named Piso Mojado records this zombie deer as it mindlessly spins around in circles at a public parking lot in the middle of the day. After a while, it briefly stops and has what could be considered a brief moment of clarity. You alright there, little guy? But then it falls over, gets up and resumes its frantic pacing. It runs in a half circle and heads towards the camera. But then it falls again and starts flailing wildly on the ground instead. The zombie deer seems dazed when it gets up a third time. Like something has permanently changed in its mind. It calmly stumbles forward with a blank look in its eyes and drool falling from its mouth. Yeah, he's bombed at the mouth. Watching this video, it's hard to tell if this deer has CWD or rabies like the uploader claims. The two share many common symptoms such as drooling, disorientation, and aggression. So we may never know for sure. Either way, this man is lucky this deer decided to run away at the last moment instead of continuing its slow and steady charge in his direction. While you may want to be the focus of your selfie, sometimes creepy creatures in the background can steal the spotlight. Posted by Samik Bari27 to the Chills Narrator subreddit. The original source of this video is Andy from Bolivia. Andy is laying on his bed, the camera directed at him as he sings, but look at the dresser behind him. A strange figure peeks its head out for a split second before quickly pulling back. You don't see much more than some strands of its black hair. Andy notices the sudden movement behind him and turns around to see what the heck is back there. But the thing is long vanished. When he investigates the dresser, there appears to be nothing. It's probably best to leave that place and never go back. Dennis from Dark Ghost Paranormal is exploring this scary house with ghosts and he's in for a real boo. While searching what looks like a storage area of the home, he falls to the ground. In fact, it looks like he breaks clean through the ground, and he does. The disturbance is captured from another room. A mysterious anomaly is seen in that same storage room. And that anomaly may be getting aggressive with him. But nothing is there, or so it seems. Just as he's decided to leave, he's confronted by the ghost again. <laughs> Thank you. 
one actually might think it's an earthquake, if not for the terrifying knowledge that this place is haunted. Later, he hears a whole lot of ruckus again and goes to investigate, when, behind him, there's a growl. What sort of beast is in here with Dennis? I don't think that's a ghost. Sounds more like a demon to me. This farmhouse has a paranormal feeling. Published by Ouija Brothers. The brothers are filming when one feels the hanging wallpaper move a little bit. Um, yeah, just kind of moved in the LP. Did you touch it? I didn't touch it. I, I didn't move. I, 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 Oh, did feel some cold come in there? Not long after, a strange noise is heard. A second clip taken by the cameraman captures the sound again from a different angle. It clearly wasn't him making the sound. Okay. Is that? Is that you? I think it's, I think it's the floor. I was like, um, like someone got a marble and rolled it. Hey. Yeah. I think it's I think it's the floor. Later they hear a knock and then a creepy voice. They find a cat in the house and then again outside. While the cat is cute and all, the house holds other creatures as well. These ones, not so cute. The enormous spider starts moving, and the brothers quickly wrap things up. While spirits are one thing, spiders are just a bit too much. While exploring the abandoned Davutlu village, the YouTube crew from Han Kardisler find they're not alone. One woman comes out of the woodwork. Hey. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <laughs> The woman leads them to this strange dark figure hiding behind a corner, but the figure disappears as they approach. It then reappears in the downstairs window. The mysterious figure appears only as a form, a shadow if you will. While well, the crazy woman tells the crew something, her silent husband stands by with his back to the camera. The figure has again vanished from sight. What? <laughs> And then the woman appears to go nuts, shooing them off and even throwing stuff at them. After being chased around, they later see the figure in the window again. But it's not any clearer what the figure is. I have no clue what this entity may be, but it seems to me that this old woman might be protecting it from outsiders. I'm not so sure it needs her protection, though. Route 666 in Ohio is well known for all sorts of paranormal sightings, such as hitchhikers without a face and other demonic entities. With this in mind, a YouTuber named The Planet Earth decides to take a long drive down Route 666 at night and records everything with his dash cam. The entire 17 minute video is rife with fear and suspense as this YouTuber thinks he sees something multiple times and bravely stops the car to investigate. One part of the video is particularly concerning. Keep your eyes on the left side and tell me if you see anything weird in the darkness. Okay. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? 
I'm not sure if this is just a reflection of a road sign or something, but there appears to be two glowing eyes on the left side of the road. If these are reflective markers, then I'm not sure why someone would bother putting two of them in the middle of nowhere like that. With all of the rumors surrounding Route 666, I wouldn't be surprised if this red pair of eyes belonged to something supernatural. Waiting for the next car to break down. First of all, what is a homunculus? The dictionary states that it's a very small human or humanoid creature. Wizzo97 uploaded this video instructing viewers how to make a homunculus in April of 2016. The video is in Russian, so bear with me. The man first rubs something that looks like isopropyl on an egg with a cotton ball. He then pokes the egg, injecting it with some substance. He then puts a band-aid over the hole in the egg and then places it inside a small plastic container. Next, he places it inside a beanie hat, likely to keep it warm. Later, he cracks the egg open with a knife, emptying the contents into the plastic dish. Out of the ooze, he picks up a larvae-looking creature with his tongs. At first, it remains still, then it starts moving around. Not sure what he was expecting. After all, he was creating a homunculus. All that is left of the humanoid is a small stain. Simply bizarre, confusing, and intriguing at the same time. Does this janitor have some ghostly helpers he isn't even aware of? Published by Alan Abueg in June of 2018. This security footage captured something unexpected. A janitor is seen sweeping up outside a school. As he works patiently, something is seen rolling up on its own behind him. A closer look shows that it's a pair of stand-up dustpans. They both slide toward the wall, filling in one after the other. The janitor doesn't even notice. If spirits are doing the dirty work, at least they seem helpful rather than malicious. Two friends stand in a creepy gray shed in the middle of the night to see who's the bravest. At approximately 3 a.m., they hear a quick sawing motion on the other side of the wall they're standing by, followed by some white orbs. In the morning, and it's um, pretty fucking creepy. What the f was, what was that you? No. Was that you? No. When they go outside to investigate, the door slams behind them. Except there's just one problem. There's no door and there never was. What the f man? But now they're freaking out, but neither wants to be the first to leave, so they go back inside. Then when they are standing in the center of the room, talking about a little girl who supposedly haunts this place, they hear the noise again, this time from the far corner. Girl, yeah, whatever. At this point, bravery is the last things on their minds as they both escape. In July of 1973, Clara and Phil Dandy moved into this unassuming farmhouse bordering the woods of Hinsdale, New York, thinking that it would be a nice cozy place to raise their children. It would hardly last for more than a year. Their troubles began within days of moving in. Minor annoyances like constant hang-up phone calls and cabinet doors getting left open, and then not-so-minor things like a soft chanting coming from deep in the woods. Soon apparitions were roaming the hundred-year-old house along with faces in the windows. As the weeks dragged into months, they recruited the help of a clergyman named Father Alphonas to cleanse the house, upon which they claimed to have felt a scream rattle the walls, followed by a period of calm. However, the peace and quiet lasted only a few days before the spirits returned in full force, forcing the devastated Dandy family to move out 13 months later in October of 1974. The house has chewed through a few more families since then. None of them stayed for long, but nobody knows what they saw. The house couldn't sell and fell into a state of disrepair until 2015, when a paranormal investigator named Daniel Clace purchased it for him and his team to conduct their research. 
Daniel is an author, speaker, and paranormal documentary maker who co-founded the Western New York Paranormal Society in 2012. He has been interested in the paranormal his whole life, and that's why these videos seem legitimate, starting with this one in the downstairs bedroom. These spheres of light could be dust particles, or they could be spirit orbs that appear when the air becomes charged with paranormal energy. One thing that's weird is they are always moving straight up, all of them, and sometimes two at a time. This live camera feed is over 30 minutes long, and not once does an orb move downwards. That's definitely odd. And remember, I said faces are seen in the window. Well, I think this might be one of them. Black eyes and all. Daniel uploaded the next video after he let a different team of ghost hunters investigate, a group called the Warriors of the Paranormal. They didn't want to miss anything, so they slept in shifts. One of them named Bobby Ann is asleep on the couch when this appears over her. A closer view only presents more questions. I see tiny ears but the face is blacked out and it has no visible eyes or a mouth. It looks like it could have been fur, but that could also be bare skin. It's not a raccoon or a small dog, but those are the only two things it even remotely resembles. Maybe it could be a hand puppet, but there's no room for a second person to lay beside her, and she is facing the camera with the covers over her, so it can't be her. And it almost definitely can't be a wild animal, because I think even the deepest sleeper would wake with something so close. This is a different view from behind the couch. Bobby Ann turns in her sleep and looks at what's wrong with her arm. This part looks like their arm. But but this circled part looks like something entirely different as it raises up then disappears, so maybe it was part of the blanket or something. But this rising dark apparition definitely is not. I don't know about you, but that definitely looked like some shadow person activity. Or maybe edited. Either way, I've saved the creepiest part of all for last. Check out this ghostly figure standing over the couch. It looks like a little girl in a dress with her head down, watching. I bet you didn't notice, but she was there all along. Hear that haunting whistle coming round the bend? It might just be the ghost train. Posted to YouTube by The Hidden Underbelly 2.0 in March of 2018, the CCTV footage purports to show a ghost train at the Baotou Railway Station in China. The uploader writes, When the station security were watching the surveillance cameras, they noticed this ghost train pull into the station. The eerie footage shows a transparent train pull up along the platform, mounted on the train tracks. As the uploader mentioned, the train pauses for its ghostly passengers to enter and exit before slowly leaving the station, picking up speed as around eight carriages move past. Some in the comments of this video suggest the train is just the Hogwarts Express or a failed cloaking spell from amateur wizards. Others say it's a train from a parallel universe. Some call out fake, saying this video is actually filmed in a Russian train state and has been debunked for being superimposed. Don't know about you, but I'd like to imagine this ghost train truly does exist and is transporting our recently departed to the afterlife. When a YouTuber named Noah Faddis learns that an old section of his school is haunted, he and his friends grab a camera and check it out. They are making a parody of shows like Ghost Hunters when suddenly their skit is interrupted by running footsteps and knocking on the walls. I guess. Noah sprints off to investigate while his friends hang back. Loud noises fill the hallway from all directions, and then everything gets way too quiet. The two remaining friends strain their eyes and hear Noah's twisted voice calling out for them. Okay, we're done. No, 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 let's go. Soon Noah comes around the corner looking vicious and ready for a confrontation. Either this entire video is just a school project, or whatever is down here seems to have claimed Noah for themselves, and I doubt they are giving him back anytime soon. A woman has a full on break from reality while on public transportation. She carries a full conversation with herself in some sort of laughing tone that only she can understand. Then she becomes absolutely overwhelmed with grief before snapping out of it. <laughs> When 
when someone approaches her to offer comfort, she switches back to laughter with a glare. The person wisely keeps their distance and does not come any closer. Next, the woman pulls out a dirty towel with stains and disappears into her own world, apparently laughing again. I really hope she gets the help she needs, because this seems like some sort of mental episode that needs to be treated fast. She and everyone around her are lucky that this didn't escalate to the point where someone had to physically intervene. This video stands as a clear warning to always verify who is at your door before you answer it. This ring video was originally posted to TikTok by Wins Home Awareness. The video shows a man wearing a hood approaching the door of this residence. It's night time. He rings the doorbell and when the homeowner opens it, the man immediately enters without asking. It's clear he is a stranger. When the homeowner tells the man he needs to leave, the intruder starts stammering incomprehensibly. Who are you? The homeowner has to physically grab the man's arm and shove him outside. As he slams the door shut, the man starts pounding on it. What? What the stairs here? Come on, where are you going? What the stairs here? Goodbye. Even though he's now locked out, the intruder stands on the front step looking in. He tries the handle several times, just waiting there. What are this man's intentions? We can only guess, but I'd wager they aren't good. Alright guys, I just got a call about an abandoned National Guard armory. Movement was detected on a motion alarm system, and now a safety officer named Beam32 Getsome tries to convince himself that he's not scared as he approaches a building known to be very scary and haunted. Now, some people around here say that it's haunted and blah, 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 blah. I don't think it's haunted. You know, that's just stuff that scary people say. It's not haunted. He almost successfully calms himself down until he gets to the entrance and finds the door wide open. We're going in. Oh God, please don't let me die. Please make yourself known. Do not jump out. I thought I heard something. He knows he's in trouble when his flashlight begins flickering while he walks down a long, dark hall, a classic sign of the paranormal rapidly draining his equipment of the battery life. I'm dropping 306 to dispatch. What the f What's going on? Yo, what is. What's going on with my light? He steps into a well-lit hall and waits for backup when the paranormal strangeness ramps up and it's all caught on video. I need you to send me additional units. Where are my additional units? See, this is The lights in the hallway turn off and on much like his flashlight was doing. He runs into an actual police car at the end, so I think there might have been real paranormal activity caught on camera at this haunted building. Watch any episode of the reality TV series, Most Haunted, and you're likely to see some paranormal events occur. After all, haunting is in the title, but one episode in particular seems to show the first ghost caught on camera in the 15-year history of the show in which paranormal investigators pick over haunted sites. The episode in question was filmed at South Yorkshire's Wentworth Woodhouse, built in 1725. The private country house was forgotten in the 20th century and is often called the greatest historic house that nobody has ever heard of. The ghost appears in the form of a man strolling through a dark corridor. Come on if you hit. If you hit what, what's that? What's that? There. I can Carl, I can see it there. Go for it, go for it. Oh. Yeah. I'm, I'm right behind you, I'm right behind you. The show's host, Yvette Fielding, called it the most groundbreaking footage we have ever recorded. But rather than giving us the answer we were looking for, it just gave us more questions. 
Many claim the footage was faked, while others said it supported the hypothesis that ghosts walk among us, but the cameraman, Carl Beatty, reaffirms that this was, in fact, real. We have never seen anything like this before. We really don't have an explanation for what we saw, he said, but the replay of the filming clearly shows the vision in detail. Spooky stuff. Caught on live TV. This woman looks like she's stretching at first, but soon you realize that something's off. Posted to TikTok by Delsry Octave, the woman is bracing herself against a door frame. It seems like she's stretching her legs. Then, while chanting, she tries to enter the room. One leg drags uselessly behind her. As she moves forward, she retrieves a few items before the outstretched leg is dragged from beneath her. She is dragged down completely from the room. What's happening here? Is she possessed? Most in the comments think so. What do you think is going on here? Mass Most Haunted posted this video in 2012. The YouTuber claims that his house is haunted. In the description, he writes, Paranormal activity happens so much that ghost voices are caught on EVPs. In any video recorded in my house, in this video, a ghost is caught on camera scaring my kitten. And while I was filming paranormal activity in my kitchen, a ghost throws a large box at my kitten. Luckily, my cat was not hurt and I caught it on camera. The YouTuber is a paranormal investigator, and the video clips were recorded around Christmas time. The investigator also notes that paranormal activity is high in his home at this time of year, and although the ghosts rarely hurt him or his cats, sometimes they do. In this video, according to the investigator, during the Nutcracker song that served as background during a television commercial, one of the ghosts is heard in an EVP saying Nutcracker. I don't know about this one. Sounds like part of the commercial to me, but what happens next is really frightening. The investigator believes the ghosts are speaking vulgarities and some of them are evil, including one that has attacked the homeowner and whose favorite pastime is throwing things at the cat to scare it. The intro to the clip notes that if a ghost is trying to make you notice it and you ignore them, one way or another they will find a way to get to you and the clip shows that's true. In the clip, one of the kittens is leaving the kitchen. As she exits, the kitten jumps suddenly and turns around to look down the hallway. Then she jumps backwards, scared by something. The YouTuber says that something was thrown at the kitten from the kitchen, and zooming in on the place where the kitten was standing, a shadow falls from the kitchen to the hallway, suggesting something has indeed been thrown. She just got scared by something. I don't know if you just saw that, but... Ooh, something... The lights in the kitchen are also flickering as this occurs. What did the poor kitten see? What scared her? We may never know. This one you'll have to see to believe. Published in April of 2011, this bizarre and scary video appears to have captured a ghost floating into the sky. The short clip, which was filmed in a cemetery in Indonesia, shows a strange figure dressed in white walking across the cemetery at night. Nothing too unusual. Could just be someone in a hooded robe, maybe a creepy ritual ceremony of some kind. The scary figure is hunched over as it makes its way slowly across the grounds. Then it comes to a pause and holds in place for a moment, but that moment is brief as it suddenly launches straight up into the sky and out of view. The footage looks completely authentic in my opinion, and I'm unsure if it's not real how this would have been produced. If this doesn't make you believe in ghosts, I don't know what will. The Cooning Ghost House is a famous cottage in Ireland that has been haunted for over a hundred years by a terrifying poltergeist. 
who was possibly brought about by a witch in the family. Not even an exorcism was enough to rid the house of its curse, and so the family fled into the woods. Now, members of a paranormal research team called NK Hauntings are ready to go exploring the abandoned building in search of the legendary poltergeist and other scary things they can find. The investigation gets off to a rocky start when they jumble their words while addressing the spirit that resides there. If there's anybody with us, you can communicate. Sorry, I'll start that again because that made no sense. But something must have understood what they were getting at, because a possible ghost orb disappears into one of them shortly afterwards, perhaps selecting the ghost hunter with the most agreeable aura. The team puts down paranormal devices that will only light up when something taps on them. Just standing near the device or walking by will not set off this paranormal equipment, but a ghost touching it will. It isn't long before they hear scary noises even though there is no traffic and no wind. They're arguing about which direction it comes from when they hear it again, more scary noises. Like it will come from that direction, we're from that direction. Yeah. No, I can't even hear it here. There, that cap, all that up beside Alex. Here's the paranormal sound again. Some kind of rising noise just before their paranormal equipment detects a ghost tapping on it. I can't even hear it here. There, yeah. cap. Just to be sure, they all stand away from the ghost hunting equipment and ask the poltergeist to tap their equipment again. Or light up another, another. Oh my oh. god! <laughs> and when the paranormal energy resides, they are able to summon the spirit again just by casually talking about it. This uh, poltergeist that used to um, torment the family uh, used to bang around up the stairs, apparently in the loft area, and capo. They note how cold it is in the vicinity where the poltergeist is believed to be standing, and the complete absence of life and warmth overwhelms them all. The trio activates a ghost listening device and picks up two words you never want to hear in a legendarily haunted house at night. Murder. 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 Was there someone home here? <laughs> I think an EVP of a woman's cutoff scream in reply to this morbid question certainly counts as a yes. There's a graveyard in the community of poetry that is famous for a very strange phenomenon, flashlight controlling ghosts. Apparently, spirits will sometimes take control of flashlights in this area, apparently using them to communicate with the living and answer basic questions. Did you come through the vortex? Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. What's really weird to me is how the light slowly fades away instead of turning straight off like normal. <laughs> so they have a destination when they... And this isn't the only video I've found where this happens. Are you going to turn it off? I see it getting very dim. Are you playing with the flashlight now? Can someone explain how this is happening if it's not being caused by the paranormal? You can't see the bottom of the flashlight in the second video, so maybe their hand is still on it, but nobody is touching the flashlight in the first video, so that one looks especially real. And if you've ever tried this at Dry Creek Graveyard, then we would definitely like to read what happened to you next. So please let us know in the comments section. Bayrose H is certain that his house is haunted and claims this video is proof. For some reason, his little dog TJ is always growling at the corner of his bedroom. Bayrose shows that there is nothing of interest in the corner besides some old suitcases, yet TJ refuses to give up. Eventually, TJ tracks something leaving the room that is undetectable to the human eye. Exactly what this dog was seeing is anyone's guess, but I think it was most likely a spiritual presence of some kind. Perhaps some kind of intense event once took place here and left a paranormal energy behind. Warning, once you watch this entry, you'll be itching all over. This video was shared on YouTube by Town & Country Pest Solutions Incorporated in January of 2011. 
It shows a bed bug infestation in Syracuse, New York. The video challenges viewers to watch the entire thing, but honestly, it's so disgusting that you can't look away from it. The crew said they didn't even have to inspect for these bed bugs, as it's one of the biggest infestations they've ever seen. They show the bugs on the curtains, on the bedspread, and then the place they love the most, the mattress. Apparently, whoever was residing here never once called to report a bed bug problem. One of the crew says that evidence suggests this infestation has been going on for months. There are tons of stains on the mattress as well, from where the parasites gnawed the residents. They lift the sheet to find bed bugs crawling all over the bottom side. The infestation reaches every corner of the room, including where the ceilings meets the wall. Bed bugs are nestled up in the crevice. They pull a picture frame off the wall to find more bugs crawling on the back side. They appear in singles and in clusters. When they lift the mattress off the bed, you can see bugs scattering all over the bed spring platform. There are so many on the edge of the mattress that the colony has eaten away at the fabric, and apparently they also stink according to the crew. One of them says their dogs are usually trained to smell the bed bugs to search out the infant station, but this one is so bad that even humans can smell it. It's so creepy, you can't look away. You can particularly feel them on you now, can't you? I did warn you. A YouTuber named Daniel finds a graveyard that is different than most others. It is in a bad state of disrepair, but beyond that, some of the graves are just plain missing. It doesn't look like it's six feet deep either. The graves could have simply been relocated, but if that were the case, then I think that the grave sites would have been filled back in. For some reason though, this graveyard has perfectly dug up graves with absolutely no evidence of a burial. There's no casket and no headstone. It's not like these plots were recently dug for a future burial either. Vegetation is slowly creeping back over them, and they are covered with a light bed of dry leaves. Whatever the explanation for the absence of these graves, one thing is for sure, clearly a lot of time has passed since they've been uncovered. The adventurer Abdullah Al-Anbar heads to the Devil's House of Evil Horror, an abandoned house somewhere in Saudi Arabia that's haunted by a poltergeist, or also known as a jinn. It doesn't take the explorer very long to discover how the house got its nickname. Whatever is in here is beyond creepy. Much to his surprise, every door opens at the same time. It's like he's being invited inside. We all saw the door slam by itself. But I bet you didn't see this elusive shadow person crouch out of sight when he first enters at 5 minutes and 10 seconds. His flashlight begins to flicker as paranormal energy gathers all around. He can sense something malevolent is near. The door is slamming repeatedly by itself. No one is hiding on the other side. That's when the jinn tries to keep him here forever. Heavy footsteps follow him down the stairs as he bolts from the house of evil. I'd say the house lived up to its name that night based on his paranormal evidence. 
Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.